you have learned that vectors have both a magnitude and a direction. In some cases, it is more convenient to factor out the size of the vector, to write a vector as a product of its magnitude and a vector of length 1 in the correct direction. In order to be able to do that, you first need to be able to find a vector u in the same direction as a given vector v, but with length 1. Such a vector is called a unit vector. But how can you find such a unit vector? That is what you will learn in this video. So, here we have the problem. Drawing is an R2, but in higher dimensions you will do it exactly the same way. You have a vector v, a given vector v, with some length arbitrarily. And we want to find a vector u in the same direction but with length equal to 1. So, given v, how can we find u? Well, let's see. We know that v is in the same direction of u, so v is a multiple of u. So, in this case, this c in between would be something like 2 or 2.5 in, in this picture. But we don't know c. We don't know u. So, how are we going to find uh, u? We know that c is positive because v and u are in the same direction, and we know that the length of u equals 1. So, what can we do? Well, if we compute the length of v squared, we can see something nice happen. So, the length of v squared equals v in a product with v. We know v equals c times u, so that equals c in a product c u in a product c u. We can factor out the c's, they are scalars, they are constants, so you can take them uh, before the inner product, so we get c squared u in u, but the length of u equals 1, so u in u equals 1. So now the u drops out and we get a c squared. So now we have an equation c squared equals the length of v squared. We can take the square root, so c is the positive square root of uh, the length of v, because c was positive. So c is exactly the length of v. So now we know c, which means that we can eliminate c from this equation over here. So we get v equals the length of v times factor u. So conclusion, factor u equals factor v divided by its length. So that is how you can find unit factors. You have some arbitrary factor v, you divide by its length, you have a factor in the same direction still, but now with length 1. So a few examples. So, take for example this vector v, 1, 2, 3. How can we compute the unit vector u in the same direction? Well, compute the length. Length of v squared equals 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared equals 1 plus 4 plus 9 equals 14. So the unit vector u is 1 of the length of v times vector v, so 1 of the square root of 14 times 1 to 3. If it simplifies when you take in the length, you can take this 1 over square root of 14 inside the vector, of course. If that makes it easier, then I would do that. But if you have such an ugly square root, it's usually nicer just to leave it like this and not to take the scalar factor inside the vector. Finally, we have some very special unit factors. We can take, for example, the vector which is along the x1 axis or the vector along the x2 axis, both with length 1. These two vectors are so special that they have gotten their own names, e1, 1, 0, and e2, 0, 1. And the, uh, uh, e1 and e2 are the names. When you go to R3, you can do something similar. You get e1, e2, and e3, which are 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 1, etc., etc. So those are called the standard unit factors. Just uh, uh, remember their names. So now you are able for any vector to compute the unit factor in the same direction.